In district cooling, during the refrigerant condensing process, the heat gained is rejected to the atmosphere. Traditionally, this process is done through indirect condensation in two stages. First, the refrigerant transfers the heat of condensation to a closed cooling water loop. Then, this water is cooled in a cooling tower and the heat is rejected into the atmosphere. If the ambient wet bulb temperature is 31 degrees Celsius and we are using a cooling tower with an approach of 4, then our cooling water will be 35. This water will be heated up to 39 in the condenser, so the condensing temperature has to be 41, ending up in a total approach of 10. But why not use a more efficient process? Aranair's chillers for direct condensation reduce this process into a single stage, eliminating the cooling water loop and reducing energy consumption. The heat of the condensation process goes directly into the atmosphere. Starting also from 31 degrees of wet bulb temperature, we will be condensing lower at 39 instead of 41 because we eliminated the water temperature difference of the cooling water loop, resulting in a total approach of 8 instead of 10. By condensing at a lower temperature, we reduce the electrical consumption of the compressor by 6% and an additional 8% for deletion of the cooling water pumps. We are able to decrease by 14% the overall cooling plant energy consumption. Get cost-effective district cooling plants using Aranair Advanced Technology. Aranair, your engineer chiller provider.